students when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have is a curve or a type of trochoid known as an inferior trochoid so in the previous session we discussed about three different sets of curves what were they cycloid superior trochoid and inferior trochoid today particularly we'll be discussing the technique or steps through which you can create an inferior trochoid this is going to be fun let's read the question here we go there is a circular disc 40 mm diameter if the diameter is 40 then the radius is 20 so with this any point on your sheet as the center and with a radius of 20 mm in your compass you can create this circle okay so very easy it is going to roll along a straight line so the straight line would be something like this understood yes sir but sir how long well we've been asked to create an inferior trochoid for one revolution so in one revolution the distance traveled would be equal to pi d so pi d is basically pi times of diameter that is 40 you can also write it as 2 pi r okay so this is going to precisely work out as 125.6 i have also written the dimensions let me show you here it is done very simple sir so this is the length of the line on which or the surface on which this circle is about to roll now you need to create a point over here just take a look the point lies at 12 mm from the center of the disc it would be better if i can just zoom in from the center and go downwards mark a point 12 mm below this here it is done sir now pass a circle through this point p taking c not as the center let me reiterate with c not p as the radius and c not as the center you need to create a circle like this and now divide the circle into eight equal parts if you don't know how to divide a circle into eight equal parts i have provided a link in the description that is basically a short video 30 to 40 seconds long watch it okay and then you can switch back to this one now simply start the marking it is this very point that we need to track 1 2 3 4 and so on done sir now you need to keep your mini drafter over here okay absolutely horizontal take it over to this point 4 5 6 7 p 1 2 3 and create horizontal lines in this fashion now you need to go for eight equal parts of this line as you can see we have divided the circle into eight equal parts so this particular line also has to be divided into eight equal parts again this is going to be very simple using the line division technique at any angle of any length draw a line randomly starting with this point a okay done sir now you need to place you need to place points and these are equally spaced that means the distance between these two points these two points these two points are to be very precise distance between any two consecutive points is always same i have taken this distance to be equal to 1 cm so i hope this is uh, i mean easily understood by you all okay now this eighth point has to be connected with point b now place your drafter over here okay set it lock it bring it over to this point seventh draw a line sixth draw a line keep on repeating the process unless uh, all the points have been exhausted you can clearly see eight equal parts now write one dash two dash done sir now keep your drafter in this position okay lock it bring it over to this one dash then two dash and keep on making vertical lines like this so these are basically the different locations of centers as the circle started rolling this is c1 c2 c3 and uh, until you reach c8 done now <clears throat> you have to use compass make use of a compass let me tell you the radius that you need to take radius of arc let me write it this way radius of arc is actually equal to this 12 mm 12 mm lock it let me highlight radius of arc is 12 mm lock it in your compass okay and now what you need to do you need to go to this point c1 watch this go to this point c1 okay sir place your steel leg of the compass over here and then on this line passing through one on this line passing through one make an arc this is going to be your point p1 similarly with c2 as center okay place the steel leg of your compass at c2 and on this line this very line passing through two passing through two cut an arc again let me show this to you cut an arc again passing through two 
this is point P2. Again with C3 as center and on this line passing through 3. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Okay, take C3 as center and on this line passing through 3, through 3, cut an arc, P3. C4, it is going to be touch and go. C5, passing through 5, cut this way. Okay, for C6, this is the line through 6. So with C6 as center, cut an arc. This is going to be P6. Similarly, with C7 as center, and this is the line passing through 7, and here is the arc. This is P7, and finally for C8, this is going to be again touch and go, point P8, you can say. And students, when you join all of these points in proper sequence, what you have is a curve or a type of trochoid known as an inferior trochoid. Remember, if the point is inside, it is inferior. If it is outside, it is superior, which we'll be discussing in the next session. Okay, and if you want to learn engineering drawing in depth in a very organized fashion with subjective questions, with complete notes, PDF notes, high quality, and with all my lectures in a very sequential pattern, download the Manas Patnaik app. The link is in the description and enroll in my course. Okay, you will also get to uh, practice a lot of MCQs inside the application, inside the course only. Thank you very much. Good day.